Hello everybody, my name is Miss Abigail, I'm your music teacher, and we're going to do another lesson today, but before we get started, we have to sing our hello song. So sing with me, and pat on your knees, or your shoulders, or play some instruments, and we're going to sing our hello song together. Get up on your feet and to everyone you meet, say hello, 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 hello. When you meet somebody new, the first thing you should do is say hello, 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 hello. Say it hi, hello, say it low, hello, say it fast, hello, say it slow, hello. Get up on your feet and to everyone you meet, say hello, hello. Hello, hello. It's freestyle time. You can dance or sing or play however you like. I'm going to keep a steady beat. Hello. Hello. Get up on your feet and to everyone you meet. Say hello, 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 hello. 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 Yay. Good job. I bet you all danced so well during freestyle time. That's my favorite part of the song. We can dance and sing however we like. I bet you all are gonna be doing that very well. I can't wait to see it when we all can all come back. So last time we talked about soft and loud sounds and we talked about our puppy dog. Do you remember our puppy dog? Let's find him. Oh, he's so loud. He's such a loud puppy dog. Here's another puppy dog. He's loud too. Bark, 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 bark. Do you remember that? Can you be loud like the puppy dog? Bark with me. Bark, 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 bark. <laughs> Good job. That's a fun one to do. But then we learned about the puppy dog's friend, the kitty cat. Let's see if I can find our kitty cat. Come here, kitty cat. Oh, here she comes. Here's this pretty little kitty cat. If you're really quiet, you might hear her meow. She meowed for us and she can purr too. She purrs like that kind of. <laughs> and we have our yellow kitty cat. She's really, she's really quiet because she's sleeping. Let's be quiet. Meow. Meow. She's very quiet when she sleeps. Mm -hmm. All right. So we learned about soft and loud sounds. But did you know in music, when you're playing an instrument or you're singing with your voice, we have other words for these. We don't say soft and sometimes we don't say loud. We say some different words. Let's put these words up and let's try to practice. This says forte. Can you say that with me? Forte. And forte, can you say it again? Forte. Forte means loud. It means so, so, so loud. Let's say forte really loud. Forte! Good job, I bet you did really well. Let's cover up our word loud and put our word forte there so that we know forte means loud. And then we have another word. This says piano. Can you say that with me? Piano? Piano means soft. Let's say it soft. Say it with me. Bet you did a good job. Let's cover up our word soft. So now we have piano and forte, or soft and loud. And let's put our puppy dog and our kitty cat up here right next to my name so we can see them. Right up here. So we can see our quiet kitty cat and our loud puppy dog. All right, but those words, Maybe we've never heard them before. Well, that's because these words come from a country that's very far away from here. And it is called Italy. 
And I have a map here so you can see Italy. It's this yellow, this yellow country right here. And these words, they say in Italy. Here is what the flag of Italy looks like. It's red, bright red, and bright green, and white. And in that country, in Italy, they speak Italian, and that's what they say. And many people from Italy, they invented music, they invented instruments, and they invented those words that help us. Well, today we're gonna to talk about some other things that we can find, that's piano and forte, or soft and loud, like the kitty cat and the puppy dog. To do that, we're gonna go on a picnic, and that's why I have my picnic blanket out today. A little backdrop here to remind us of a picnic blanket. And I'm gonna get out my loud forte basket, Put that here. And then I'm going to get out my quiet piano basket. So we have a soft a piano basket and a forte basket. So let's see. Okay, so let's see what kind of foods I have in my basket here. And we're going to see if they are soft or loud, or if they're piano, or if they're forte. Let's see here. What do I have here? I have an apple. Bright red shiny apple. Are apples, when you eat an apple, are they soft to bite into? Or are apples really crunchy to bite into? Do you make a big chunk? Or do you make a soft sound? Make a forte sound? Or a piano? Apples crunch. Crunch, 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 crunch. Apples make a crunchy forte sound. They make a loud crunch, 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 crunch. Can you crunch with me? Crunch, 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 crunch your apple. Yum, 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 yum. Awesome. We're going to put our forte apple in our forte basket right there all right what else do i have <laughs> Ooh, i have a banana are bananas are they crunchy like the forte apple or are they piano are they soft like a piano do you bite in them are they crunchy and hard or are they really soft and kind of chewy when you bite into a banana. They're piano, they're very soft when you bite into them. Let's put our banana in our piano basket. All right, what else do I have? Mmm, yogurt, I love yogurt. This is, looks like this is strawberry yogurt. That's very yummy. When you eat yogurt, you eat it with a spoon, is it, Really hard and crunchy and forte? Or is it really quiet and piano like our banana? Yogurt is piano. When we eat it, we can be really quiet. We can be very piano. All right. Let's put our yogurt over here with our bananas. All right, what is next? Chomp, 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 chomp. I have a pretzel. Are pretzels really soft and piano, like our banana or our yogurt? Or is it really loud and forte, like our apple? We crunch, 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 crunch. Our pretzels, they are forte. They are loud and crunchy. Let's put our pretzel with our forte apple. Put them up there. All right, what else do I have? Ooh, yum, I have some popcorn. Popcorn is so yummy. But when we eat it, are we being forte? Are we being forte and loud? Or are we being really quiet when we eat, like when we eat a banana? Or like when we eat yogurt? Are we really quiet or really forte? Forte or piano? Popcorn is forte it's so crunchy just like the pretzels and the apple so popcorn popcorn goes in the forte basket right there awesome and last but not least this might be my favorite one 
ice cream. I love ice cream so much. This one's chocolate. That one's really good. It has a little cherry on top and a nice bowl with some sprinkles. Yum. Is ice cream really loud, really forte when you eat it? Is it crunchy? Or is ice cream piano? And it's really quiet when you eat it with a spoon. Our ice cream is piano. Our ice cream is piano. That means it's soft and it's quiet when you eat it. And our ice cream right at the top. Yum, yum, yum. So you can pause now and think about what kind of foods are your favorite foods. And do you think they're piano? Are they really soft when you eat them? Or are they really loud when you eat them and they're crunchy? I love pretzels and they're so crunchy and yummy. But I also really love ice cream, and ice cream's really soft. It's very piano and quiet. So feel free to pause the video here, and when we come back, we're gonna talk about some items around the house that I found that can be piano and forte too. Did everyone think of some yummy foods? And did you think of your favorites and if they were soft or loud or piano and forte? Bet you, get, bet you guys came up with a lot of really cool ideas. Well, last time I invited you all, asked you all to find some things around your home or around your classroom with your grown-ups or your teachers and see if they made a piano sound or a forte sound. Well, I got to do it too. And I have some pretty cool things around the classroom here that I found. And we're gonna see if they make a piano sound or a forte sound. So let's see what I have. I have this container. This container doesn't look like it makes any sound. So if it's sitting by itself, I don't really hear anything. But if you take your hand, and you play it like a drum, it's pretty loud. I would say this is forte, but if it's by itself, it's piano. That's pretty cool. What else do I have? I have these cups. How can we make music with cups? Hmm. Maybe we can stamp, stamp them together. That's pretty forte. Maybe we can play them like drums too. That's pretty piano. This is soft. And this is loud. Good job. Let's see. I have a stuffed animal butterfly. It can fly. It's so soft and fuzzy. But is it forte or is it piano? Is it forte or is it piano? Let's find out. I don't hear much. Let's let's play with it a little bit. Kind of flap its wings around like a like a butterfly would. I don't hear very much sound. I don't know about you, but I think stuffed animals can be pretty quiet. I think stuffed animals can be piano. So we have a piano butterfly. Let's put our butterfly away. What else do I have? All right, I have two markers. I have a blue. Ooh, there we go. I have a blue and I have a pink. Let's see if they make sound. I don't think they're making a lot of sound, but like our container from the beginning and our cups, if we do something with them, I bet they can be pretty loud. So let's see. Look, it looks like the sticks that I had earlier when we sang our hello song. Look at my sticks, they look like markers. These are much louder though. My markers, my markers are piano. They're very soft when you tap them. Even when I tap them hard, they're very soft. Cool. All right, I have a ball, big yellow ball like the sun in the sky. Hmm, how can we turn this into music? Maybe we can play it like a drum too. Do you hear that? That's a pretty cool sound. This ball is piano or 
it's forte. It can be both too, just like our instruments the other day. That's pretty cool. All right, flying in. I have a scarf. But why am I whispering? Scarves are very quiet. I don't hear anything. Scarves are piano, just like our kitty cat when she sleeps. She's very quiet when she sleeps, just like the scarf. Very good. And last, this might be my favorite. I have a big metal pot and a big plastic spoon. Now when these are alone and we're not touching them or we're, you know, we're not, we're not interacting with them, they're quiet. I don't hear anything from the pot. I don't hear anything from the spoon. Just like everything else, we have to do something with it. So let's try. I won't be too loud or else the audio will cut out. So let's just be, let's just be piano with it first. Do you hear that? Whoa, that was a lot louder when I changed the spoon. That's a kind of a piano sound. Let's try it a little bit louder. We'll be, we'll be gentle. That's forte. It could be a lot louder, but we're just gonna do that for now. We can even try it with our hands. That's a much different sound. That's cool. Wherever we hit the bottom of our pot, and if we use different things to hit it, it sounds different. That's so cool. We made music with a pot. That is awesome. Well, I can't wait to see what you all come up with. You can try this again, and this would be an awesome activity to explore around the classroom and do it. So if you wanna do it again, that's awesome. So I'm gonna pause real quickly, and if you'd like, you can do that again and see what you come up with. All right, let's hopefully found some cool things. But next, we're gonna do some repeating like we did last time. And parents and teachers and grown-ups, you're welcome to repeat after me. This helps the children learn about repeating and how to do it piano and forte. So similar to last time, I got my little cheat sheet here to help me out. We're going to do it with our sticks again. All right, so if I'm loud, you be loud. And if I'm soft, you be soft. And if I'm forte, you're forte. And if I'm piano, you're piano. All right, let's try it. This one's my favorite. Tap, 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 tap. Good. Good job. Being forte. Where is forte? Forte's over here. And being piano is so fun. All right. So let's end our fun lesson with some songs. I have two fun songs today. I'm going to show you my first one. What are these? These are circles with X's or pluses on them. But you know what else they are? They're hot cross buns. Hot cross buns are so yummy. They taste like cinnamon and sometimes they have raisins or nuts and they have little, little uh, icing pluses on them. They're very yummy. But let's sing. I'll use my, use my sticks up here. And sometimes I might be loud. I might be forte. Or sometimes I might be soft, I might be piano. So try to see if you can match me as we sing about hot cross buns, okay? All right, let's start. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns. One a penny, two a penny. Hot cross buns. Was that hard, was that tricky? Let's try it again. All right, 
Maybe I'll, I'll do a little bit differently. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns. One a penny, two a penny. Hot cross buns. Did you do it that time? All right, let's do it a couple more times in practice. Let's do it a little bit differently. I'm gonna trick you. I bet I can. I don't think I can. I think you're all too smart. So let's do it again. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns. Hot cross buns. Was that hard? I don't think that was too hard for you all. I think you did a great job. Awesome. So these are our hot cross buns, and we can use them to be forte, or we can use them to be piano. Yum, yum, yum. Hot cross buns are yummy. All right. Next song I have is apples. Yum. We talked about food today, like hot cross buns, or like our piano and our forte foods. And today we're gonna to talk about apples in our song. This is like the song B-I-N-G-O, like the old McDonald had a farm song. So it's the same tune, but this is a little bit different. We're talking about apples. So let's start the first song and see what happens if we lift up, lift up this flap. All right. There is a fruit that grows on trees and apple is its name. Oh, A-P-P-L-E, A-P-P-L-E. A P P L E an apple is its name. Oh. But what if we take away the A? What's gonna happen? <gasps> Someone took a bite of our apple. But look, there's a clap. Can you guys clap with me instead of saying A? I'm gonna put this up on the board so I can clap with you. Take our baskets down. So we can sing our apple song. All right. If we all can see that, I'm gonna bring it up a bit. All right. Okay, let's try it without saying A, okay? We're gonna clap. All right, let's go. There is a fruit that grows on trees, and apple is its name. Oh, P P L E. P P L E P P L E an apple is its name. Oh, I bet you all did a good job clapping. Let's see if we can clap two times. Oh my goodness! Someone took a bite of our second apple. Silly, silly, silly! I bet it's those quiet bunnies, those soft piano bunnies that bounce around. I bet they got into our apple tree. Those silly, tricky bunnies. All right. Let's clap twice. There is a fruit that grows on trees and apple is its name. Oh, P-L-E, 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 and apple is its name. Oh, good job. Is our bunny gonna eat our apple again? Let's find out. Oh, that silly bunny ate our third apple. Well, this time we're gonna clap three times and and then we'll start. All right. There is a fruit that grows on trees and apple is its name. Oh, L-E, 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 and apple is its name. Oh, good job. Let's do it again. Is the rabbit gonna eat our apple? Let's find out. Oh, that silly rabbit ate our fourth apple. What are we gonna do? We only have one left. All right, we better sing one more time. There is a fruit that grows on trees and apple is its name. Oh, we gotta clap four times. E, 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 and apple is its name. Oh, I hope the rabbit didn't eat our last apple because we're on a picnic. Let's see what happens. Oh, that silly rabbit, that silly bunny. Our bunny may be piano, but he sure is tricky. Well, now we ran out of letters. <laughs> we just have to clap the whole time. Let's see if you can do it. There is a fruit that grows on trees and apple is its name. Oh. And apple is its name, oh. 
Good job. Let's sing the regular version again. Because we have all our apples back. So let's sing the regular version one more time and then we're gonna do our goodbye song. There is a fruit that grows on trees, an apple. Look, we have all of our apples back. <laughs> apple is its name, oh, A-P-P-L-E, A-P-P-L-E, A-P-P-L-E. And apple is its name, oh, good job. You know, when we were clapping, it kind of reminded me of the forte sound. Can you clap really loudly? Good job, and that's because you all did a great job. Awesome. So let's sing our goodbye song because that is it for this lesson. All right. Goodbye, goodbye. See you soon, see you soon. We will sing and play soon another day. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you next time in our next lesson. Bye.